Welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is going to show how sheet sets get created and what a sheet set is is a series of layouts that you can package together and send out to somebody else to view uh, especially if they don't have AutoCAD so that you can uh, show progress or final drawings of a large project that might span across several different drawings so the process is quite easy but uh, like anything in AutoCAD once you've done it a few times and see how it's done it's uh, pretty easy to do then it's just a matter of remembering how it's done later on so you can either just type in sheet set press enter or you can go up to view palettes and open up the sheet set manager both things will do the same thing so what we're going to do instead of opening is start a new sheet set and I'm going to use it off of existing drawings and I'm going to use uh, some sample drawings that AutoCAD installs and I'm just going to call this uh, sheet set for video and a description this is just for the video tutorial and like anything in AutoCAD where you have a chance to add a description make sure you add something useful because five years later I might not remember what this is for and especially if you're working with other people in uh, a company you might not uh, remember what it's for and all of a sudden everyone needs to know what this sheet sets all about so make sure you add a description there's a button down here for sheet set properties and this gives you a little bit more you can add in the project number this is actually for 4-10 and uh, I'm just gonna save that doesn't it's not needed but you know once again you can always add more information so I'm gonna hit next and now this is where I tell the sheet set manager which files I want to include so what I've got here is the standard path that takes me down through uh, program files AutoCAD samples sheet sets architectural so I'll just click on architectural and this will bring in any folders below it as well so I'm gonna press OK and you'll see that there's uh, quite a few down here as well so with that I've got everything set now I just need you know there's import options I don't really need subsets you know for this so I'm just going to cancel out of that and go to next this gives me all the layouts this shows me all the information and I'm good to go so I'm just going to press finish and now here's my sheet set so as I mouse over each one so I'm just going to double click on this one and close my manager and you can see that it's just like opening up you know a new drawing straight into the layout tab so that I'm just gonna go back to my sheet set manager and you've got views you can look at as well um, if you want I can just go directly to this view so it takes me right in there as you can see into the door types and I'm pretty much set to go model views as well I don't really need those because um, I'm really just concentrating on getting layouts ready so I need to go back into my sheet list up here and then I can uh, publish and actually share what I've created here so I'm going to publish to DFF sorry DWFX and then later we'll view this on the web so I'm going to save this just to my desktop and we're good to go so that's it I've created one and it's telling me okay you're uh, it's going on in the background so I don't need to worry about anything and it'll tell me when it's uh, finished creating so with that done I'm just going to close this down and that's pretty much it
Um, the next thing I'll do, rather than wait for it to render everything, is I am just going to open up the online viewer. And you can see that I've got all my drawings here available to put online and share with people. Go in and move around the drawing, look at dimensions. And this is just like having a sheet of hard copies printed out and uh, available for your client or a boss or a project manager so they can just look at the whole scope of the project in one easy place so um, that's pretty much it for sheet sets um, you may not use them a lot I haven't personally used them very often at all and but it's very important to know that these exist and how to do them because you'll never know when you're going to get asked to come up with one. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Art at MyCADSite.com. I provide a completely free AutoCAD course online. I'll take you from the very basics, from looking at the screen and drawing a line, right up to 3D rendering. So check it out, and thanks for watching.